program. Thirty seconds into flight. Now you can note the speed and altitude graphics there uh, at the bottom of your screen. Seven thousand feet and climbing. And the chart at the left is tracking the main milestones of the flight. Beginning throttle down for Q limiting. Engine response looks good. All right, it looks like we've passed Max, max Q. Q. There you hear the, on the radio there, the uh, Max Q has passed. That's the uh, point at which the aerodynamic pressures on the vehicle Mach are at one, the max. Mach 1, vehicle is supersonic. All right. And you can just see the glow of the engine there. And engine then we back up to full the throttle. Onboard. The onboard camera looking down at West Texas. Chamber pressure looks good. Passing 70,000 feet. All right, we're approaching 100,000 feet here. The next milestone that we're looking here for is main engine cutoff, or MECO, and that's the moment at which our astronauts are going to start Astronauts the experiencing of max ascent Gs. Of uh, microgravity. Begin throttle down, standby MECO. Miko confirmed. There's the main engine cutoff. Standby separation. And it's a very clear day in West Texas, which is uh, why our long range cameras there on the ground on the left side of the screen, you're seeing the clear shot of the booster. There's separation. Separation confirmed. Amazing. And this is the point at which the astronauts are going to hear that call from uh, their, their Capcom, telling them they can start to unbuckle and enjoy those moments to float around the capsule, and uh, I can't imagine what's going through me, he said, right now. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. They sound happy in there, which is really good. I'm so excited for them. <laughs> Passing the Carmen line. And there they are. They've crossed into space. Now, both the booster and the capsule are both ascending now. They're, they, the vehicles are separated, and now they're just both coasting up into their apogee point, and they're going to reach apogee about the same time and then begin their journey back to, back to Earth. You can hear the voices of the astronauts right now as they are floating around the capsule. Capsule has reached apogee. Oh, my God. Four minutes, 15 seconds into flight. An amazing day to fly to space for these six booster astronauts. descending past 340,000 feet. Now the booster is more aerodynamically shaped than the capsule is, so it's going to win the race back to the capsule ground. Capsule body so rates look good. Chart on the left side of the screen that you see there is tracking the booster. The chart on the right side is tracking the capsule's descent. And so that booster is going one to first touch down uh, just a couple minute minutes before the capsule does. Morning. And you hear there the one minute warning came from came from uh, Capcom. They're they're talking to the uh, astronauts in, in in the capsule, giving them that one minute warning to return to their booster seats. descending nominally. And one thing I love is that you can see this booster coming down to West Texas. Astronauts returning to seats. The astronauts returning to their seats, and the booster will actually land about two miles north from the launch pad.
that's the onboard, we call it the tunnel down view of the, uh, the booster as it's uh, descending back to Earth. You'll notice the clouds moving from left to right there. The, the booster, as it's ascending, rolls a little bit uh, as it sort of tosses the crew capsule, capsule up into has space reached the atmosphere and gives the point. capsule ability to spin and get lots of different views of Earth as it's floating. Confirmed booster forward fin deploy. As you heard, we have deployed the forward fins, and that is because we need these surfaces to help steer the vehicle back to the landing pad. Astronauts are experiencing max Gs. All right, the astronauts are now back in their seats. They are also descending back to Earth as well. Coming up here soon, we'll have my favorite part. I'm biased because it's the engine, but we will get to see the engine <laughs> reignite. Booster drag brakes deployed. Approach an engine restart. All right, there's the drag brakes, and you're going to see the velocity of the dropping of the end of the booster here really cut down. It's below 500 miles an hour now. That was the song. There's, boom. and you can see the relay engine restart. right there. Landing legs deployed. Boost to descent nominal. Booster touchdown. Booster touchdown. Welcome right. home, New Shepard booster. There it is. Every time I get to see these booster landings, uh, this is just this is a miracle of engineering. And Starting booster auto it's a, safe. It's thing. a uh, it's a treat to be able to see it. If, if you ever get a chance to see it Capital in Texas, it's Capital descending nominally past 20,000 feet. This is reusable. Stand by, Drogues. So the show is not over because we have the capsule. And on your screen, you can see that the capsule is descending with the altitude decreasing there. You should be able to, yep, there's the, there's the crew capsule. Now we're going to look for the drogue deployment. There it is. Looks like we've got three good drogues. Now these are the so drogue deployment these confirmed. Are the, uh, initial uh, drogue parachutes that pull out the main parachutes just a few seconds later. There's three good main parachutes have been deployed. Capsule main parachute deployment confirmed. There we are. Three reefed parachutes. Always confirmed. really, really good capsule to see Capsule mains this. look good. Amazing. So these astronauts have gone to space. They have unbuckled. They have enjoyed capsule a few Capsule landing of zone is win within expected range limits. And here they are looking out the window, seeing Earth Capsule descending nominally past 1,700 feet. That is a great shot. We are just under 1,500 feet from the capsule landing. Now the parachutes, they're, in, they're essential for providing a gentle touchdown for the capsule, and it also has a retro thrust system on the base of the PDS capsule, enabled. which is going to make the final touchdown even smoother for those astronauts. Under 1,000 feet here. That uh, retro thrust system fires just retro moments, thrust fire. moments before the touchdown to slow the capsule down to just a few miles an hour. It kicks up a tremendous cl cloud of dust there in the desert, but rest assured the astronauts today will enjoy a nice, soft touchdown. Again, great uh, work by our drone team in West Texas today. Cap 
for a touchdown. Oh, touchdown. Auto seeking start. Welcome home, NS 37. Our astronauts have landed and they have touched down back in West Texas. Welcome home, crew of NS 37. The 37th mission to space for New Shepard. Status check. It's always great to see the easy touchdown for a New Shepard crew capsule. Now, uh, at this point, our crew capsule recovery team is going to be driving out in a convoy.